Hello there, my name is Thomas Paolo and I'm bringing you this altcoin video. So yes, usually I was doing uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, overviews and price predictions, etc. And showing my trading and where I'm buying, etc. But now, so many of you have been asking me to do a video on my altcoin portfolio and how I'm looking at altcoins and etc. So in general, I do have quite a big altcoin portfolio which has been into a very good profit. Uh, because I was entering in, uh, after the correction, after China uh, started banning crypto. So I started entering around uh, June uh, and well, actually a little bit before. So this uh, whole consolidation before the recent uptrend, I did get in and I had a good profit. But now it's down to pretty much break even or a small profit I have left. And I just I picked just six, uh, yes, six top contenders. Uh, within my uh, altcoin portfolio, I have many more altcoins in there, uh, but I picked just the best ones that I think would be quite interesting for you guys and girls. So please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I make a new upload. And also down in the description, there is a link to my Telegram channel so that you're always alerted when something is happening and market is on the move. So go to Telegram and subscribe uh, to my Telegram channel. It's absolutely free. Okay, so... Um, Altcoins in general and when it comes to altcoins, I'm just looking for value I'm looking for something that is stable that has some kind of a proven track record that has some kind of a good project behind That there is some kind of utility and that uh, it the project itself makes sense And I'm always trying to get into them at a very good price So as of right now if you haven't watched my previous YouTube video, I do suggest watching it It's a very important Bitcoin update and uh, as of right now uh, if Bitcoin is going to be correcting a little bit more and and uh, just, uh, together with us and P500, the altcoins obviously might be suffering more and more. So this could present an opportunity to buy into certain altcoins for your altcoin portfolio just for long term holding. So this is what this video is going to be about. So watch till the end. We'll take a look at different uh, six different altcoins that I personally have. Well, I just showed four. So yeah, I guess I should show six. And uh, I'll show you exactly the technicals and where you could be buying into them. And uh, yeah, so that's the idea of this video. And yes, all of these altcoins are available on Bybit as well. That's where you can trade them and buy them as well. And there is a link down in the description of this video to open a Bybit account with my exclusive link. And after you make your initial deposit, which takes like literally less than one minute to set it up and to make the initial deposit, you'll get up to $4,100 in free bonus bonuses for your trading or investing and of real money. So use that exclusive link down in the description. Okay, without any further ado, let's get right into this video. And the first contender uh, is Adam. Uh, Adam Tether. Let me just move it a little bit like this so you can actually read it. Adam USDT or it's also called Cosmos. So with Cosmos, uh, let me uh, turn it like this. So basically, as of right now, we have a very strong uptrend in Cosmos. And that's one of the altcoins that I have that has performed really well, because I bought into it again, uh, in this area right here using a simple averaging out strategy for my long term holding. So my average price, I would say was around $12 or so $12, 13 So at this point, I have a very good gain at some point I had more than three X uh, on it. And I was contemplating whether I should sell it in this region right here, which actually I mentioned in one of the previous videos. Videos. Um, and I didn't sell it because it's a really strong performing uh, project that you can actually read about in detail. I do believe in it. And as of right now, if you want to be adding it to your portfolio, is it really a good time to buy it? Well, the thing is that currently our all time high is about $44.60 something cents. And right now we have uh, gone down only about 38%. Well, only about, I mean, this still is a huge drop. But this is something that um, you could uh, just buy a little bit of it. And uh, also another interesting point to buy it at would be uh, this resistance, this support, I'm sorry, which is very, very strong. And we are currently forming a very strong, um, some kind of a squeeze here. Let me make this line thicker. So we are forming a very strong squeeze right now, which could actually um, be something similar to this uh, or in the other direction could also be possible depending on what's going to happen in the next months with Bitcoin, crypto and the markets in general. So this is if this scenario is going to be uh, playing out, then buying it right now a little bit and then perhaps at this resistance could also be a very interesting point. And then again, if it's going to be 
going down then uh, somewhere at the area of $13 is also a very this uh, area here is gonna have a lot of volume so I don't think that we will ever go past I don't know like $12 $13 on it which would be my break-even um, entry uh, of my entry into this altcoin so this could also as, as you move down you could potentially consider uh, just averaging it out and getting the best average price okay so let's move on to the next one which is obviously and you guys will uh, love it and this is Solana and a lot of you have been asking me to do a video on it and Solana is super strong I mean a lot of people are saying that Solana is the Ethereum killer or whatever that is actually stronger than Ethereum and in certain instances for example for uh, the purposes of metaverse and NFT Solana is a lot more convenient and a lot cheaper so it definitely has a lot of uh, upward potential even from this point right now and actually it's not a bad time because let me toggle on the regular view as you can see we have already corrected a lot so um, I actually bought into it at 130 something my first uh, b small bit that I bought at 138 uh, 137 and then I'll buy probably around if it goes down a bit more to like 90 to 80 that's what I'm gonna buy again and as you can see uh, our from our all-time high down to the current position it has dropped 65 percent and remember this here this token has a lot of value so it's got a lot of utility so this is one of my like top contenders for sure and it's definitely not a bad time to buy it especially that it dropped 65 percent and uh, certainly our uh, worst case scenario would be $23 which would be a complete disaster uh, but $23 I think we'll never go beyond 20 uh, below $23 this is going to be where we have a lot of uh, not this one we're gonna have a lot of resistance here because our biggest volumes are standing right here in this area so this is exactly where this is the way that we can still cover down to maybe $50 and in this area we'll see a bounce off of it for sure my personal honest opinion this is not financial advice this is just the way i'm looking at the markets i did fine for myself so i'm doing these videos to show you guys what i'm thinking for building a long-term portfolio and if it goes down i'm gonna be just holding it so this is the world of crypto you buy it and you don't get provocated by all these ups and downs because people who are currently multi-millionaires in crypto uh, were never provocated by this kind of stuff and uh, yeah so this is my take on uh Solana currently let me toggle this one and uh, as we can see uh, we actually broke down out of this falling wedge just like we did uh, in Bitcoin right now which is a very um, nasty situation however and we've gone past this area right here as well but nonetheless uh, I think that the uh, bullish confirmation is going to be when we're gonna pass um, this level right here so about uh, well at this instance already could be about hundred and twenty dollars but nonetheless again yeah, this uh, could retrace very fast as you might remember how Solana was growing from thirty dollars to three hundred dollars in a matter of a few months so this is one of the tokens that I currently am going to be adding into my portfolio step by step next one uh, is going to be Cardano uh, and this is something that has been upsetting me for quite some time now so Cardano is a very strong project and guys and girls if you disagree with me on anything please do let me know down in the comments if one of these projects you don't like or whatever let me know the reasons behind it so Cardano is one of those all-time favorites you know, of a lot of people and our all-time high was about uh, three dollars twenty cents and currently we have a uh, correction of 70% so you're getting a 70% discount on a very strong project and right now it's a really good time to get into it because we are at this $1 mark and look how much support we got from $1 how many uh, confirmations of the $1 mark we had it's absolutely incredible so this could be the bottom for Cardano could be uh, they are certainly having some issues as well so that's something you don't even have to mention in the comments but uh, as long as uh, they actually deal with it and Cardano has the tendency of dealing with stuff properly within at least some kind of uh, time within some kind of a time frame so discount 70 percent on a really good project very nice so definitely worth thinking about and my average entry price into it was about dollar thirty so I am uh, in a negatives right now I did not close my trades here where I again had a very nice profit 
well, silly me, but again, you will, uh, you can really never predict where it's going to be the top. So this, this kind of investment for me is down the road. So this is something that actually all these old coins I have in a cold storage uh, using a uh, ledger wallet. And this is something, one of the safest things. So there's also a link down in the description to the ledger wallet, which you can purchase and store your crypto in a safe way that uh, if you have um, crypto, like this for a long-term hold that you know if the exchange goes you know disappears or you know it gets hacked at least it's not going to disappear so a very uh, smart thing to do um yeah so basically this is my take on it and we'll see if the one dollar holds i mean uh, when it comes to the volume profile we have a lot of support here and then again uh even more support we're gonna have at around well the same amount of support pretty much we're gonna have it 35 cents and then at 16 cents right here at this huge consolidation and this would be the worst case scenario but i really highly doubt that we're gonna go so low but we'll find out okay uh next one on the list is polkadot polkadot is one of my all-time favorites as well let's take a look at it and currently this is our situation so let's take a look at the discount that we're getting on polkadot and uh, the discount is currently also 70 percent from its all-time high and uh, let's take a look at the chart in this way this is again a lot of people will say that this is a double top and once we uh, break the neckline it's gonna go even lower down to with this kind of a target if this plays out which double tops don't really play out that very much quite honestly uh, especially in this long-term perspective then uh, our target would be <laughs> less than zero so that would not really be very cool but right now the polka dot i mean you can read about it as well one of the strongest uh, projects out there as well and certainly we have this uh, head and shoulders pattern which might have a quite a long target as well maybe even below ten dollars which again will have had some confirmation here and here uh, but i'm not really sure that we're gonna go down as low as ten dollars but if we will it's gonna be an incredible i'm not gonna be adding anything now because i already have polka dot i'm just showing you guys what i have and i have an average entry price into polka dot was around 16 15 dollars so yeah i think around 15 dollars so i'm in small profit but at some point i had a huge profit and uh i'm hoping to see some kind of if we're gonna do just briefly just a line like this then this could be our uh, bottom that we could potentially see in polka dot at about 15 dollars so it's not a bad time to add a little bit of polka dot into your uh, portfolio and then see what how it reacts to this area right here whether going down or upward so this is it on polka dot uh, let's move on to something that is not as attractive but still could be uh, interesting to consider for a long-term hold and that is uh, chain link let me just use uh, DT uh, Let's take a look at Chainlink. Chainlink is also in my portfolio. I, sh I have a small loss on it overall right now because again, I was buying into it in this area. And uh, currently it's forming this kind of a flag squeezing formation, which is not really that very good looking for this time being, but we'll see how it plays out because we're currently at super strong support right here and we might bounce off of it and do something and break above or break below but again from the all-time high if we do this calculation then we'll see that we are getting a discount of even bigger discount 72 percent so and we are currently at this super strong resistance right here which has been confirmed too many times to ignore so if you want to add chain link to your portfolio then this is not a bad time to start doing it and if it goes lower down to let's say seven dollars which yeah i'm not really sure that it will but it could and uh, that's where you know a lot of volume is standing here as well so it could be the bottom or the worst case scenario is three dollars but that's just too pessimistic i just don't believe in these kinds of numbers at this time in my personal humble opinion and again you can do all of this um on buy bit and with my exclusive link down in the description claim up to four thousand one hundred dollars in free bonuses and the last one is going to be uh, stellar lumens let's take a look at it use the t uh, and this one is very very interesting again it's also a very strong project but right now it's uh, it it's not really looking that very good but uh, and i also have some kind of a loss on it now so i'll probably consider adding a little bit to average out the price even more um you have to get an even better average price and right now 
you're getting a discount of 78% from its all-time high. Again, this is my take on it. I do like the concept that the XLM is following and I'm following them, their uh, roadmap and their procedures quite, a, quite very much as well, quite interesting. And uh, we had this break below, which I was really worried about, but nonetheless, uh, I still kept it. Uh, now let's take a look at, because again, this is a long term hold. So I'm just betting on a long term perspective and this is what this video is about. So uh, with the volume profile, again, our biggest volume is at about 10 cents right here, which is the previous uh, times from the past. And uh, this is something that could be our absolute bottom at around 10 cents. But again, as I let's go to the weekly chart. But as I mentioned before, I don't really think that this could be going that low down to 10 cents, but anything is possible. And certainly right now is not a bad time to get start getting into it because you're gonna get a better average price than I did. So this is what it currently looks like. Again, we had this uh, double top, this one and this one you could say. So we're breaking the neckline and our target could be again this 10 cents if this double top uh, actually plays out. And a lot will depend on Bitcoin and what's going on in the financial world in general. But the worst case scenario is going to be about 8 cents. So we are about 50% uh, uh, drop could be the worst from this point uh, in my opinion. And again, such an almost an 80% discount on this project which I do find to be quite a strong. It's not the strongest project, obviously, but uh, to diversify your portfolio and to have uh, quite a few interesting uh, altcoins, this could really be uh, an interesting option, just in my personal humble opinion. And do let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts on what you're holding the most. I'm really interested because, again, it also shows uh, market sentiment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Best of luck in the markets, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!